An Italian woman has won a Picasso still life, painted nearly a century ago in a worldwide lottery. A ticket was pulled out in a live draw at Christie's auction house in Paris. This is an event that had twice been postponed, once to sell more tickets at more than $100 apiece, then because of the virus restrictions. The charity Care hoped to raise more than $19 million for rehabilitation and water projects in Cameroon, Madagascar and Morocco. Are you lucky in raffles? No. Do you enter raffles? Uh, I have done occasionally, never won anything ever. Ever? No. <clears throat> Maybe you're not entering enough raffles. If the raffle prize was €3 million Euros worth of prize um, and the ticket were €100, Euro, the raffle ticket... €100 Euros per ticket? Per ticket, but the prize would be worth €3 million. Would you enter? If you had a hundred years. Well, without wishing to sound like I'm overanalyzing this, the okay, key issue. Okay, so let me tell you the story, right? So this is the story, the luck of the draw. This is where a three million euro Picasso painting could be won. Um, it was going to be awarded to the lucky winner of a raffle in Paris. And what happened is that the raffle organisers paid the owner of the work nine hundred thousand euros. Um, sold the tickets at 100 euros, 50,000 tickets were sold. And the idea is that what they're hoping is that more um, people with these expensive artworks or expensive potential prizes will donate um, them for charities to raise money. Well, my question was going to be at how many tickets were sold. And there you now go, I I've got that. So it's a one in 50,000 pound chance of winning three million pounds. Yeah. Which is good. I'd say that yeah, those odds are bad. good, aren't they? It's As compared bad. with, I don't know, the lottery or things like that. Yeah, it's not bad, but I mean, they have to get that beautiful Picasso. Beautiful. So, uh, That's your